Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI. Well, the wait is over. It's been over six months since the Walmart shelves have been empty for the wildly popular on UHD streaming device. I'd like to think my review video on the box back in June of 21 had something to do with that since it got well over a half a million views. In that video, link in the description below, I compared it to Amazon's cornerstone device, the Fire TV Stick 4K. It did pretty well head to head, especially if you consider the cheaper price tag of the Walmart device coming in at just $19.88. When they seemingly disappeared from Walmart stores, there was a lot of speculation around YouTube and the internet suggesting they discontinued the product. To the contrary, Walmart went back to the drawing board and have now released a new upgraded version of their 4K streamer, and that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you in today's video. In fact, I just got back from my local Walmart where I picked up a handful of these sub $20 now Google TV streaming boxes and I'm going to be giving away five of them to some lucky Cord Cutters Ally subscribers. I'll show you how you can win yours at the end of this video. But in the meantime, I'm going to fire up one of these bad boys and let you see how it compares to the previous model. We'll compare the features, the specs, and the performance coming right up. So if you're ready to take a closer look at Walmart's new streaming box and how to win one absolutely free, including shipping, sit back, relax, and let's go. Now for a quick look at the specs of the 2021 version of the on 4K streaming device uh, versus the 2023 new model. Similar to the box and to the device itself, there isn't that much difference. You'll have to look pretty close to find a difference, in fact. The main thing is the CPU is a little better. Uh, the older version had the S905Y2, and the new version has the slightly improved S905Y4 processor. The key difference to this is that it does support the AV1 codec, for video processing, um, but that's pretty much it. The GPU is the same. They both use the Mali G31. They still both have eight gigs of storage, but when we get to the actual look and see what available storage we have, you might be a little surprised with uh, what we'll find, and so stay tuned for that. They both have two gigs of RAM, so no change there either. One significant difference, however, is the 2023 version comes with official Android TV version 12 or Google TV, where the older 2021 version has official Android TV version 10. These are a little different on the interface, and uh, if you're not familiar with Google TV, you're familiar with the older, like NVIDIA Shield or the um, typical Android TV uh, interface, you will see a pretty significant difference. We're gonna look at that interface in a little bit if you haven't seen that before. All right, so we all know that from time to time, it's a good idea to restart the device. So I thought it would be a good idea to compare the 2021 version, which I'll put on the left, uh, to the 2023 version, which I'll put on the right. I'm actually gonna do this twice, but through the magic of editing, we'll get it all on the same screen and uh, we'll compare. So let's go ahead and restart. Ready, go. I'm gonna stop the timer when we're at the home screen and uh, everything is perfectly usable. Okay, so as you can see, the newer version is a nearly four seconds slower than the old version to start up after a restart. Uh, a little bit of a surprise, but you know, a few seconds isn't that big of a deal. All right, let's take a look around the interface of Walmart's on 4K streaming box with Google TV version 12. Uh, as you can see here at the top, you have a section that's for you. And if you scroll down, it shows you all sorts of stuff that's you know, geared towards uh, your viewing habits and recommendations and such. You go over to apps and it will show you the apps that you have installed 
on your device. Um, and then as well, you can go down and uh, you can install apps from other devices that you have and then some featured apps and some recommendations for apps and so on and so forth. You can sideload apps on the Android TV interface, no problem. Um, I'm not going to go into detail on that in this video. Um, then you have a library tab, which right now is empty. It shows you any purchases or rentals that you may have had. Over at the top, you can search for things. With the magnifying glass, you can go into the settings. The settings, the interface is quite a bit different from Android TV. It's a little bit of getting used to, but for the most part, it's uh, all the same stuff is there. It's just somewhat in different places. Scrolling down here on the main screen, you have your apps, or what I call the favorites bar, similar to the Fire Stick. Uh, this will show 10 apps, um, and you can move these around if you want to. We can just hold in the button, and you can say move, and you can move it left or right. You can also remove that from the favorites bar and add other apps in here. But uh, once you have 10 apps on this list, it does require you to keep 10. So unlike um, some of the other devices or like the NVIDIA Shield with official Android TV where you could have just two or three if you want to, here you are kind of forced to have 10 apps here even if you don't watch or use 10 apps. So again, it's a matter of personal preference. What do you think? Put some comments down below. Let me know what interface you like the best. Android TV, Fire OS, or Google TV? I'm very curious. Now for some 4K streaming tests. Just so you're aware for these tests, I am connected to my Wi-Fi and I'm getting a little better than 200 megabits download speed. As you are probably aware, your streaming results may vary depending on your bandwidth. Personally, if I'm not getting at least 40 meg download speeds, I'm gonna to try to fix that before attempting to stream Ultra HD content. We'll start with an Ultra HD video on YouTube. No problems here, no dropped frames, no buffering. Next up, 4K video on Prime Video. Also looks good, no issues. Now for some Netflix in 4K. As you can see, we're not skipping a beat here either. Disney Plus, shall we? Mando never looked so good, am I right? If you ask me, this show jumped the shark a season or two ago though. That's a shame. Anyways, moving on to streaming 4K on my home network. Two thumbs up here as well. All right, there you go. An up close and personal look at the new Walmart on 4K streaming box with Google TV. I honestly don't think that this can be beat for just $19.88. What do you think about it? Put some comments down there below the video and let me know if you're gonna get one of these. In fact, speaking of leaving a comment, that brings us to the moment I know some of you have been waiting for. I'm going to give one of these away to five lucky Cord Cutters LI subscribers, and I'm gonna make it super easy to enter. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel, then throw a comment down there. Let me know that you'd like to win and what you plan to do with this new Google TV streamer when you get it. Finish the comment with hashtag win, W-I-N. That's it. For every 1,000 views this video gets, I'll pick a random winner until all five are gone. If you're selected, I'll reply to your comment and let you know how to contact me with your information. I'll then ship your new streaming box to wherever you are. As always, if you like anything you saw here today, please like the video, click that subscribe button, and share this and all of your favorite Cord Cutters Ally videos with your friends. Thanks for watching.